Hello ladies and gentlemen, Ecology here, and welcome to World of Tanks, and this is the Spooky Garage, but more importantly, the SU-100Y. And this vehicle is, it's not a bad tank, but in this replay, it was pretty good, so enjoy. And here we are with the SU-100Y, and I am platooning with Frisky Fox, he's also in the same clan as I am, and we're platooning premium tank destroyers. I'm in the SU-100Y, and he's in the Dicker Max. And we're on Redshire? Yeah, Redshire. And we're not really high on the team, and there's a lot of Scorpions. Now, this replay follows along the timeline when Wargaming released the Scorpion as a rental for a couple days. And, yeah, that Scorpion rammed me and died to damage. Yay. So, yeah, the matchmaker is flooded with scorpions. That's why we have four on our team and three on their team. But that's also a good thing for me because they're one-shotable. Or very close to be one-shotable with my very big gun. But I don't have HE loaded, which is sad. But I have a very big gun, which is good. So I'm going over here on the 9-0 line because why not? I'm going to do what I can. Try to do my best. Look at that tank destroyer. Can't wait until this tank destroyer gets HD'd. It's going to be fantastic. So I'm going. I'm driving. Oh, there's a Chaffee. I see a Chaffee. Oh, there's a Scorpion. There's an E25. Squishy tank destroyers, I see. Oh, there we go. I'm up here. Trying to see if I can spot anything up. There's the scorpion. Nope, nothing. I'm going to keep going as artillery tries to hit us. But missed. Alright. Chaffee, E25. There's an M6 over there. Oh, there's the Chaffee. Ugh, no gun depression. Come on, M6. Get the M6. There's an... Very nicely exposed M6, aim a bit, fire, and I throw figures, and I, I, I was a little cranky. Like, oh, I hit the rock, why? Russian accuracy, you hit rock. Stalin, why you no help me? And basically, I'm going to shoot this tank. Oh, never mind then. Saves me ammo. And oh, I... Uh, shoot the side of the turret, doing 504 damage. I'll take that. Yeah, I took a lot of hit. My loader's dead. Up, oh, just repaired him. But now I'm really hurting on my health. My health isn't really that good. So now I'm just waiting until like the OI experimental fires again. Probably on that poor scorpion in front of me. I'm watching out beside me, making sure. I'm backing up to see if I can find a nice little area by the rock. There we go. I have seen a nice corner of the hall, and he moves forwards, and I'm like, God dang it. Oh, he just fired. Go, go, go. The scorpion did it good. For how long? I don't know, but he did it good. Oh, I'm not focused on the OI. Oh, there we go. Shoot him in the turret, and killing him. I'm like, the AT-7 has this nice side armor, and I know the AT-7 is very powerful as well, but that OI is going to be a nightmare later on in life. So, now I got 700 damage done. I killed a tank. There's the overpowered tank. Now I look for a weak point. There's a lower plate, and I shoot it. Nice lower plate shot, and I got him. Now I got 1,100. Oh, there goes a tank beside me. But, looks like we won the side fair and square. Now, the other side doesn't look like it's doing too good with only a couple tanks defending, and it looks like all the tanks are pushing on that side. But, we have the upper hand. We have the powerful tanks on this side, as my friend gets the second kill. Maybe we can get bros in arms. Maybe. There's enough tanks, I guess. We'll see. Crossing the river. Gonna go up. There's a Hellcat up there. Maybe I can snipe the Hellcat. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Oh, 
All right, now I see these little bushes. Should go into those bushes, but I'm not. There's the Hellcat. Ah, uh, nope. No, he's on the other side of the mountain. Dang it. All right, so the Hellcat's gonna die very quickly. So I'm gonna go by, there's a scorpion. See, it's a scorpion. But there's a m buildings in my way. Can't shoot through buildings. So, gotta keep going. There's still that building. It's, and he's on the other side of the mountain. And I can't shoot at him. But I'm still going. Oh no. Gotta charge up this hill. Um, I, I'm going to lose a lot of speed going up this hill, but at least I'm in a good position to shoot the scorpion and the tiger and the egg panther whenever they get respotted. Climbing, I'm climbing 12 kilometers up the hill. And there we go, nice position. There's the scorpion. And dead. Awesome. That's one kill gone. Let's see. Yak Panther and Tiger. One. Let's see if I can't kill it. Down the hill I go. Now, I think they're going to go on to our cap. And there we go, they're on cap. Like I thought, so... I'm in a good position to snipe on the cap. It's just I need someone to light up the targets. There's the tiger. And... Yes! My teammate got the kill. So that's good. So my teammate has three kills. Can I get three kills to match with it? Can I get one more kill? Can I get that Yak Panther? Wherever that poor Yag Panther might be, there he is. All I just have to do is take the kill. And I get... Come on. Yes! Three kills each. Brothers in arms. I got 1,928 damage. Surprisingly, I only shot at tank destroyers except for that OI. Which is quite surprising. But... In a match that was dominated by tank destroyers, it's not really that surprising at all. But it was a very good game. And I got Brothers in Arms, which is always good. And back to the garage. I hope you enjoyed that replay. Well, let's go over some stats about the box tank. It has 700 HP, it weighs 64 tons, it has an 890 horsepower, giving it a top speed of 35 kilometers. Traverse speed is 30 degrees a second. Hull armor is 60 in the front, 60 in the side, 60 in the rear. Granted, there is nice more armor over around the gun mantlet because that's what usually happens. Shell damage is 330 through 550. Standard shell penetration is 147 through 245. And that has a 3.75 rounds per minute, which is somewhat slow. Uh, gun traverse left and right is 26 degrees a second. Fear range is 350 and signal range is 440. I like this tank. I think it's a very interesting tank. I wouldn't like to be inside of it because there's really like only one way or two ways to get in and out of the vehicle. And it's by this hatch in the rear or probably by any hatches underneath the tank. So other than that I wouldn't want to be in because one shell you're scrambling to get out that hatch and if your engines on fire you're basically going to get cooked alive so yeah fun fun box tank well with that being said thank you so much for watching this video remember to clicky click the like button and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and thanks for watching see ya bye bye